Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. This is a WBZ News Update. I'm Lisa Hughes. The prisoner who escaped from the Belknap County Jail in New Hampshire earlier this week is back in custody. Police caught Peter John DiBiaso driving a stolen car in Corning, New York. DiBiaso, who was described by police as a career criminal, is believed to have walked out of a door without an alarm before then scaling a 10-foot fence. He was serving time for domestic violence and stalking. Well, this is quite a picture. No one was injured when this small plane crashed on Cape Cod. There were two people on board when they tried to land at a Cape Cod airport. It's a single engine plane. It went off the runway and as you can see right there, it wound up in the trees. The FAA has launched an investigation into the crash. Crews have already taken away the plane. And red line riders expect some disruptions in service. The MBTA is cutting service to make safety upgrades after a runaway train rolled into the Braintree station. Starting Monday after 9 o'clock in the morning, trains will not be running between Braintree Station and UMass. Instead, passengers will use shuttle buses. The T says the shutdown is a part of its maintenance agreement with federal safety regulators. Well, we are looking for some rain out there. We hope we get it. Eric Fisher joins us now with our next weather forecast. A uh, chance on Thursday won't be terribly widespread, not every town getting it, but we'll be looking at more humidity, some very warm air, and the chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Tonight we stay dry, partly cloudy, milder. You'll notice the humidity coming up will hold in the 60s. Tomorrow we're up into the 80s again. That chance of some rainfall will go for 86 in Lexington to 87 in Andover, Boston up to 88, Duxbury and Brockton up to 85 degrees. Warm and humid. Chance for some morning showers developing. Some locally heavy downpours there. If you're going to be, uh, say, south of the Mass Pike, your best chance will be with that first half of the day around. But in the afternoon and the evening, most of the focus will be across the interior, north and west of Boston. The best chance for some thunderstorms and locally heavy rainfall. The lowest overall chance of rain will be toward Cape Cod and the islands. On Friday, we'll have a chance of some late day rainfall again. It looks more toward the evening, maybe even a little after sunset. So the lion's share of the day will be dry. Upper 80s there. Saturday, we're in the 80s as well. Much less humid to start the weekend. Lisa? Sounds good, Eric. Thanks, and thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.